fuel mission on the tire. And here we are. Yeah, boy. You got it off already, or? That's what Morgan was saying. Uh, north of Columbus, they just had two tornadoes. Really? Uh, Y'all not going to Bowling Green this weekend? Huh? Not going to Bowling Green? Or? No, we got a little race over at Magnolia. Did you go to that boy in the woods? Yeah. How was that? It's always a party. Yeah. That's it's always a party. Um, I run small tire in 26, the 26 inch tire class. Didn't do where the fucking small tire. Made it to uh, made it down to three in the 26 tire class. Yeah, we trying to get the pro set up, but how much time we got right now? We want to go on. Right. Still a 12.0? Yeah. Yeah. Still a 12.0? Here comes the rain.
Chris Poole um, in the Joker. It's a Mustang, uh, big block nitrous car. Um, <clears throat> really didn't know what to do. Uh, I underestimated the surface. So we clearly didn't have enough in the car. Um, and it didn't go real well. <laughs> he took off, done, done somewhat of a wheelie there. You can see and just he just outran us um i was catching up with him on the other end there just wasn't nothing there wasn't enough enough ground to to do any good so we're out again first round small time to it. I'm trying to I'm trying to I guess get get a good tune up in it that I don't take too big of a step and end up messing up being out and run what you bring as well. So get that done, go up, do the normal routine, uh let go of the button, car leaves and we end up pulling off a win. So Make it to round two of Run What You Brung. Totally, totally. Um, as long I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but um, it's uh, Nova it appears to be two chassis Nova. Um, we stepped up a little bit, and I made I mean I made considerable changes just to try to keep with it. We had the Mickey Thompsons; they have one pass on them. They're new. The CO7s is what I put on the back. The Hoosiers for first round, I had gotten from Tyler uh, Cox. They were used. He had already used them. And I, the sidewalls were already beat out of them. And I couldn't keep the tire from crushing. Um, so we, I don't know how the Mickeys work. I don't know much about them because I haven't ran them in like six years. And then I only ran like one set. Uh, I've always run Hoosiers. But we put the Mickeys on it to give it a try. 
other than the 26s, that was that was our best tire. Um, went went out with the Mickeys and we just didn't put enough in it. Done the normal routine, let go of the button, and just didn't put enough in it. Uh, like I said, we're still chopping away. I've underestimated the surface every round. Um, Mickey's did what they were supposed to do. I was a little low on air pressure and we got beat. So we're now out of small tire and run what you brung. Um, they, no prep, mania. They did a, uh, or D team racing, sorry. They did a thousand dollar to win free entry um, second chance race for first round losers in small tire or any class other than run what you brung. So we're now in that. Um, Um, we'd get to Sherm Baker and he nor I was up there to draw so we had other people draw for us um, he was actually back there helping me we, I was talking to him about like what I did from first to second round what the car did like shock settings and stuff like that um, and then found out we drew each other but um they had ducks because first round losers, quote unquote ducks, um, that's what they drew when, when they drew it. So once we figured out, once I figured out I drew Sherm, like he's not a duck at all. I don't give a shit what the hell you draw and the numbers on, but sure, Sherm's got a bad unit. And um, like I, I had to take a chance, I guess you would say. So I took a little bigger swing than what I probably would have um, had I drew some of the others, I guess, because I know Sherm. Um, he's not he's not going to take it lightly either. And I put in it what I thought would still might go down, but it might not. And it went down, but now now we've got a little bit of a wheelie to work with. Um, go up to the burnout lineup, let go of the button and it, it comes out and then it comes up it like power wheelies. So I have to cut gas, get back in it. I was able to hold him off and I was able to move on to the second round of the second chance race. So here we are. second chance race we get Tommy Hoskinson um not really who I wanted to be up against right then but you got to race everybody to get to the end um again from the Sherman race or Sherm race sorry from the Sherm race like I didn't particularly care for the air pressure so we went up in air pressure on the tires um played with the tune-up a little bit played with the shocks and honestly the the power thing wasn't it was very minimal because I already had a pass that wasn't great. So I'd rather get the suspension under control and worry about the power later. Um, I did add a little bit though and went up, um, to run Tommy done our normal, normal thing and got up on the brake, let go of the button and it instantly stood up. Like, 
I cut gas at 0.8, so it was already up enough to where I needed to cut and in 0.8. Um, with somebody like him, you can't mess up, and I did. I wish I could have gave him a better run, but he beat us. I had to cut gas, got back on the throttle, um, and was able to get to the end first. <laughs> but um, I believe the suspension changes that I made to keep the front end down actually adjusted to the power that I had in it to where it for the most stuck to tire. Um, and that's all I can really come up with. And the, the car wheelie really quick. It is what it is, I guess. Learning that from that, with this shock settings on a surface like that and that power level, I need to add, I need to put more power in it, try to get a little slip on the tire. Um, and hopefully that's the case. Like we get in this situation again, I can add that power, we get the slip and we're able to make a good pass without a wheelie. So we're, we're still trying to figure out where we might be at next weekend. We will let you guys know. Um, appreciate everybody that is watching the live feed. Um, those of you that have mentioned that you enjoyed it and please continue to bear with us as it is a work in progress. Um, this weekend was not the best. Um, with the live feed, the phone that we usually use did not have service, so I could not hook it to the mic. Um, I couldn't put this phone on the tripod because I was trying to charge it because I had worked before coming to the track. And it was a little bit, a lot to manage with the live feed, putting the GoPros on the car, um, filming at the line and doing merch. So, um, just bear with us. We're working on getting that a little better for you, but I'm glad that you guys are tuning in and watching it and enjoying it. I yeah, appreciate it. Still trying to figure it out. So as soon as we know where we are next, we will let you guys know. As always, thank you for watching.